so this field was uh, pasture cropped. So by pasture cropping, what we talk about is stitching in an annual crop straight into a perennial grass. So this was in March, this was bale grazed, and then we moved, moved, went in the next day and direct drilled in oats and uh, brassica, barley. Uh, there's some vetch in here, just sort of a wee cocktail mix. So what's exciting about this is this field itself is sort of your traditional rye grass clover mix, where it's rather shallow root in roots. And then when you think about how, how tall these oats have grown up, because they're sort of a meter-ish high, then you see, you're seeing the exact same thing below the ground, sort of mirroring it. So that's going to get a lot of carbon, carbon down the way and minerals coming back up the way in the form of animal feed. So we're going to we'll do a wee test dig, see, how, see what's going on. So we've got sort of a block of oats here and a vetch, token vetch plant. So the soil's actually really dry at the moment, but it's, the plants are quite healthy and they're green, so they can't be that stunted. But you can see how you can see the roots, how how deep the oats are getting down, which uh, we wouldn't necessarily get. Well, those oats are, roots are obviously going a lot deeper, but we wouldn't necessarily get that with our white clover and sort of your traditional ryegrass mix. That's uh, aftermath from the forage rye, that was bale grazed by the cows, and then we've drilled straight into it with the disc drill. And uh, here's our stubble turnip that was in with the oats. We've actually found when we've tried to drill oats in the past that a lot of charlotte comes up through the crop as if it's like a natural companion crop. So that's where we got the idea of drilling brassicas in with the oats because in, in nature that's what we, we learned a couple of years ago when we we're trying to grow oats. Well, there's all this brassica, our family of the brassicas coming up. And then we've got some vetch, which is, where's it gone? Ta -da. Thanks, Bob. So we've got vetch here, so that's nitrogen fixing legume. So it seems to have, have worked really well in our soils. It grows naturally in the verges. So I think because it's growing in the verges, then it should grow well in our climate and in our soils. So we might be able to see the nodes on the vetch to see nitrogen getting pumped back into the ground. Yeah, so you can you can see there. There's these little round nodes on the roots. So that's the nitrogen fixing uh, points. So we are planning on t using this for whole crop silage. So it should be quite a good uh, good mix, good food for the yearlings in the in the winter time. It's all totally organic. It's not had any fertilizer or any pesticides of any sort. And then the good thing about pasture cropping is, is if it's a disaster, it doesn't matter. You've, you've not killed off the grass, so the grass can grow back and you've still got a crop for your animals to eat. So it's something we're trialing and hopefully we'll expand it. Uh, hopefully we'll make it more successful and expand it out across the whole farm or, or some of the better fields anyway.